checking the oil because it's a fishing day. Good morning, everybody. Pretty good there. Everything else looks good. How am I doing with? Yeah, I could use a little bit of washer fluid. It's always good to make sure. You keep stuff with you if you're traveling. I keep quarter oil, windshield washer fluid, antifreeze, jumper cables. I've got some tools on this side. I've got some other random things in the tackle boxes in here. Um, but I think we're ready to get on the road. Only in a Jeep. Let's go fishing. Could be a rambler from the seven dial. Don't pay taxes, cause I never file. I don't do business that don't make me smile. I love my aeroplane, cause she got style. I'm a treetop flyer. job done. You got to fly down into the canyons. You don't ever see the sun. There's no such thing as an easy run for a treetop flyer. I'm in high demand Go 15 feet over the Rio Grande I'll blow the mesquite Right up off of the sand Seldom seen, especially when I land I'm a treetop flyer
and ask him where'd you learn to fly that way? He's over in Vietnam, chasing the NBA. The government taught me, and they taught me right. Stay down under the tree line, you might be alright. Tree top flyer. Coming home, I'm running low and fagas. I promised my woman this is gonna be my last. I get the ship down, I tie her fast. And then some old boy walks up and he says, Hey son, I'm gonna make some fast cash. Tree top flyer girl. Well, there's things I am and there's things I'm not I'm a smuggler and I could get shot I ain't going to die, I ain't going to get caught You see, I'm a flying fool in an aeroplane It's just too hot, I'm a true top fly This is what it's all about, y'all.
So we just pulled up to Cal Shoals. Um, this is the first public access point for the Little Red River. South, oh actually I'm sorry, this is the second. We were at JFK first, now we're at Cal Shoals. Now one thing that's notable, you need to pay attention to regulations because in this particular area you can only use a single barbless hook. So that means that I'm gonna have to smash the barbs down. So it's always important to know what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Okay, so what I've chosen here is just a, a little dropper. I've got a pink trout magnet on the back of it, a little flash. We've smashed the barb down on here, so it's gonna be an easy release. Uh, again, with trout, you really don't wanna handle the fish. Um, if you can get away with it, a release from your, uh, from your Hemostats right back into the water is always the best way to do it. So let's see what we can do with this little guy. Wow, quite beautiful. All right, now, here's the deal. A little walk-in was fine, but this, by myself, I'm gonna be safe, and I'm not gonna walk out into it. We've got a fast current, um, probably a lot higher than it normally would be most other times higher. of the year. I would imagine, due to the rain. So with me here by myself, not walking into cow shoals. Pretty beautiful place though. I think in the fall this would be uh, and probably mid to late summer when the water goes down a good bit. I have every confidence that this is going to be a very productive spot. Well we're all over the place today. We are at Greer's Ferry Dam Site Park. Looks like a pretty nice little area to walk in. There's a swimming beach, but there's a little cove right back here. And the water looks fairly high. So, you know me, I'm inclined to try it.
There we go. There's one. Hard little fighter. Little smally. First of the day, barely hooked. Right in the rocks. Oh, come on out of there. There we go. Beautiful little fish. Red eyes. <laughs> Pretty little guy. Hey guys, golly, it looks like a different planet down there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I saw pictures. I thought it was going to be around 15 or 16 because it was 13 before it flooded. Man, oh man. <laughs> yeah, I, I do the whole YouTube thing and everything. Yeah, it's really neat. But I wanted to get, I walked back just about to where the, the train tracks are. And I hadn't, I mean, wow. I'm surprised that's still sound enough to even hold the. Yeah, we walked down there, I guess it was maybe Monday or Tuesday after all that flooding. Yeah. And uh, they almost had to shut the walking center down. I, I, I saw down. how high it was. Yeah. So, who knows? But everything still sound and looks good as far as, you know, the structure and everything. You know, West Branch just got walloped. Yeah, and they did. I think somebody was looking out for us here in the spring. So. Amen, I think you're right. <laughs> 
Well, I got one little small mouth this morning, and I'm going to head down to Dam 3 and see what I can do there. Cool. Is that a GoPro? Or it is. It is a GoPro. It's a GoPro 4 um, Hero. Uh, I'm sorry. I should have asked if I could record. I, I record everywhere I go. So. No, no, no. I just um, have one. It's not a, one of those fancy ones, but for my motorcycle. Oh, cool. Yeah, for I do it for nature and hiking and all kinds of stuff, and it just works out great. I love it. I got started with it because I was watching some YouTube videos of backpackers, yep. you know, remote areas. And sure. Because, I mean, some of the stuff is so far off the beaten path that you do, you're not going to see it unless you have, you know, a camera or something yeah, with you. I'll so, see yeah. Step that far away. Yeah. Oh, and it's just you neat. Can, you can live through other people's experiences if you know you can't be there. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like reading the adventure book. Still coming pretty fast. Wow. It's a lot of water being pushed out. I bet you it's almost 15 million gallons. Almost. It was 13 million gallons before it flooded. We're going to go over there. Off that point. See if we can pick up a few smallmouth in this current. They like cold water, they like fast water, just like trout. All right. Floodwaters have a way of changing the landscape, and it looks oddly different. Not completely different. Can really see how high it was in some points where we're walking now is completely underwater last week got trees down floods took out the brand new lifeguard life ring station that's all gone wow this landscape really has changed quite a bit can see where it pushed all this water up <laughs> goodness took out the bench picnic tables there was a you can see the remainder right here but you can see where this little red ribbon caution line is and that's where they had just I mean just installed life ring station and life vest it uh it's, it's always been a swim at your own risk but uh i wouldn't advise anybody to swim you can see how high it got you've got roots hanging off these upper tree branches right or i'm sorry the lower tree branches right here looks like some of the bird nests still made it there's just tons and tons of swallows underneath this bridge. Goodness. 
have to explore a little bit now that we're here. These look like riprap rocks from the other side. Pieces of clay pipe. My goodness. It has completely changed this landscape. Looks like maybe the water pushed up about this high. Now just so you know, this area through here was covered in trees. Like this was just full. There wasn't this open space. But that's what flood will do. We pushed all this stuff way back here. Way back here. All this was grass. I would imagine that the uh, the railways have investigated how sound this structure is right here. I guess we'll know if we see any trains coming through. You can see where it peeled the bark right off the tree and how high it hit. Wow. snap these trees right in half. It's pretty amazing. You know, you gotta kind of let it soak in. And just think about it for a minute. Think about the magnitude of what the force of water can really do. something a little more tactically appealing for these guys. There's a ton, I mean a ton of trout, big ones, in here. But my question is, what am I going to use for it? Alright, we've gone to trout mode. chased already. There's one. Quick release. There it goes. It is little. I'm okay with that. We smash the barbs down on these boys and girls. Um, and I'm totally okay with that. But I'm getting tons of bumps. Now this one you're coming home. No, you're not. 
Maybe you are. Nope, you're not. <laughs> Part of the game, y'all. Part of the game. Yes, indeed. Now we have some fun going on. There's one. Come on, shake it loose. You're just a little bugger. One thing that can help the fish is us, meaning me and all you guys out there, changing location. So, not a hard thing to do. closer we are to the water, the better off these fish are going to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down, little one. Get you back in the water. There you go. Let's talk about little. Going the wrong way, y'all. You just a puppy. Come on. Get you back in. Beautiful little fish. That's a decent one. If I could just keep it on. It's rare when I get this whole spot to myself, but I tell you what, I'll take full advantage of it today. Well, I believe. I might have just pissed off a snake. That is entirely possible. Can't tell how big it is.
All right, bye bye. I would have kept him. That's a little guy. Get free. Hang on, buddy. We'll get you out. There we go. One morning I woke up and I knew you belong. A new day, a new way, and new eyes to see the wrong. Go the way I go by, carry on. The sky is clearing and the night is brighter. The sun become the world is all Rejoice, rejoice, we have no choice but to carry on. Fortunes of fables are able to resolve. Now witness the quickness with which we evolve. To sing the blues, you got to live the dues.